Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel and already we're starting to see a lot more transfer news around Crystal Palace. It's really weird to see actually, everywhere I look now on social media there seems to be some sort of link, strong link or like re real transfer negotiation news happening around Crystal Palace right now and positive news as well, not outgoings like we're used to hearing about Zahar etc but actual players that could be coming into the club and today I'm going to rattle through one of the main ones that I've heard and I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Get your thoughts on it as always, like typical Palace daily setup. Um, and then, as I said, I will be doing some more um, Premier League focused videos in the next week, in the week leading up to the season starting. Um, I do want to just put it out there right now. Uh, on Sunday, I do go off on a family holiday. And um, because of that, I am going to be missing the first game of the season at Everton, which is a real shame. Um, I missed... I think it was the Liverpool game last season, the second game of the season. Um, I was away on holiday for that. It's just the way it happens, you know. I'm with my family, so I can't, I'm not complaining or anything, but it's a shame that I missed the opening game of the season. Um, just want to put it out there to you guys, um, just so you guys know. So there probably won't be a vlog or anything like that for it, um, but I will be doing my instant reaction. I'll probably be able to watch it somewhere out there, uh, out on where I am on holiday. And yeah. Just want to put it out there. Probably we're going to miss the game, but I'll get videos around the game and uh, my opinion on thoughts on whatever the result will be. Um, so I will be doing content for you guys, don't you worry, but it will be obviously abroad. Um, but anyway, getting into today's video, I wanted to talk about Victor Camarasa. Now, this is the really weird, this kind of come out of the blue, this transfer rumour or this transfer news, and it's kind of gathered pace really quickly it's really really weid um obviously a lot of you will know him from Cardiff City last season um a lot of you Premier League fans or Cardiff fans of course um and he was there on a season on loan at Cardiff last season obviously Cardiff ended up going down relegated to the championship but I think it's fair to say he had he was one of their standout players um a lot of Cardiff fans definitely rated him very highly said he was very consistent he did I think have a few minor injuries during the season obviously if Cardiff fans are watching this um correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but um from what I could make out and from my experience of watching him as well I think he was defensively very sound scored an absolute banger against Leicester City away um, I remember seeing that on match of the day um so I think he's got the capability of being a very good box to box midfielder and obviously very highly rated amongst Cardiff fans I think definitely is the sort of player that can adapt to the Premier League as obviously experienced English football now and um, I think he's a good player in in, in all honesty um, it's rumoured that as I said transfer negotiations on this seems to have been going rapidly and um, we've had representatives out in Seville talking to um, Betis um, which obviously is the club he's at, about um, a deal. And it's looking like around a fee around 15 million euros is agreed and it's already getting onto the stage of just sorting out contract details and things like that. Really weird how quickly that's gone because it, it really has gone under the radar for me and it's only really been today and yes, like end of yesterday, I guess you could say, that I saw any sort of news linking us to him. Um, obviously, comment your thoughts down below, Palace fans. Are you happy with the sound of this signing? For me, it was slightly weird because obviously he's a centre centre midfielder and it's one of the few positions in the team that I think we've got decent depth in once everyone's fit like Kiate obviously Kiate still coming um got time off from the Africa Cup of Nations got to the semi-final in that so he's still um he's still away but um Sorry, got to the final. What am I talking about? Um, but he's obviously because of Africa Cup of Nations. kiate has been away for preseason; hasn't started preseason yet. But once he's back, and you've got MacArthur there, you've got Milivojevic, etc. We've got a lot of depth there, in my opinion. Um, but talking of Luca, the next point that I wanted to move on to potentially a reason for the Camarasa deal could be around something to do with Luca. Now, obviously, he's only got one year left on his current contract at Palace, still hasn't signed a new deal, and it's been something that I've been quite concerned about, the fact that this hasn't really happened yet. Obviously, club captain, um, very, very, very a fan favourite, one of the biggest fan favourites in the club right now, alongside Zaha, I think it's fair to say. Um, really, really just a typical Palace player, you know, you know, just the way he put... He, 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 puts himself around the pitch the way he, he um you know sees the club in such high regard and he treats the club brilliantly off the pitch and on the pitch um a lot of a lot of respect and he he really plays with pride when he's wearing the palace badge which is something that you know any fan would latch on to you know and would really really like to see from any of their players so for me it's really weird seeing how he he really loves the fans and the atmosphere and just being at the club in general, really, really enjoys it. But he said this multiple times himself, that this hasn't really transfer, or not transfer, but contract negotiations on a new deal have been, you know, 
slow to get going. Um, there have been transfer rumours linking him to Lazio. Um, it looks like they could be. There's not much truth in those in those um, those links, but it it does it does worry me that there are links at all to him potentially leaving, and that he may be unsettled over a new contract. I I, I really hope we can sort that out. But this Camarasa thing, in a way, kind of. It smacks, I don't think it will be a replacement for Luca by any means, but it kind of smacks a little bit of that, like maybe further down the line, if Luca doesn't sign this contract, Camarasa there will be a long-term, a fairly long-term replacement for him. Um, I don't think that will be the case. I just want to put it out there now, but it does, you know, it gets you thinking. It gets you thinking, that's all I'm saying. Um, we All I can say is if this does go through, really good signing. I'd be really happy with this. Um, it's not one that, you know, gets you off your seat necessarily, but he's a workhorse in the midfield, very highly rated. I think um, Palace, I know for a fact, Neil Warnock was um, interviewed about this. I think it was at a press conference yesterday, um, but he was asked a question about um, Camarasa and, the, and he, he came out and said that um, obviously one of his favourite players last season who had was fantastic loan loan deal for Cardiff. Um, didn't quite get, do enough to keep them up, but apparently Palace almost went to Neil Warnock as like a reference, you know, for, to get to, to you know get his thoughts on the player. Um, and he told Palace he was fantastic and, you know, he really rates him quite highly. So to have a manager say that about, you know, a pl and obviously a manager who's had experience in the Premier League knows what it takes to be successful um, or to have players that need to, you know, that can keep teams up and be successful in the Premier League. Um, Neil Warnock's someone who, you know, he's had experience in clubs in the Premier League. So to hear him say high, you know, positive thoughts and put Camaras in really high regard um, is good to hear. It's good to hear as a uh, a team that is very strongly linked to him. And yeah, it looks like it could be done over the next couple of days. It's gone that quickly. So let me know your thoughts, guys. It's all about Camaras today. Spaniard in the team. Um, obviously got Vincente there and he's learning English quite quickly as well, which is good to see. So you've got a Spaniard in there, so that'll probably help things go along, you know, if he transitioning him into the team, having a fellow Spaniard there to talk to, etc. Um, yeah, really really interesting how quickly this has developed and I just want to know your thoughts on it. Is there any link there with Luca potentially not signing this new deal? Um, are you guys worried about that at all? I think I'm not worried at the moment, um, but the further the, the se upcoming season goes on and he's you know, not hearing that he signed it, I think I'll get more worried as that goes, season goes on. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Also, thank you so much for the comments on your previous video, on my previous videos. Um, the views on that have been brilliant as well. Some really good interactions there. Really, really appreciate it. And as I said at the start of the video, we'll be going on holiday on Sunday for about a week or so. I will miss the first game of the season against Everton, unfortunately, but I will still be doing videos whilst out in, uh, in, in on my family holiday. So don't worry, videos will still be coming just want to let you know heads up in advance but thank you guys so much for watching comment your thoughts down below like share subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time